Horse rips. <laughs> We're gonna try the 540 big spin. Oh! Hi everyone. <laughs> this is my final episode here with Ken on the Ken Vlog channel. I'm wearing open-toed shoes. You already on vacation. <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm breaking, anybody that knows the rules we have here at Hooting and Racing knows that that is uh, breaking every one of them. And you, well, I'm not wearing and you're in shorts. Shoes. Well, not just shorts. Trunks, swim trunks, because we're going to lake. We're going to go drive my Supra. And when I say Supra, I don't mean the other Supra. I mean a Supra boat. One of the rad things that we're gonna go through today is just the fact that both these things actually have Raptor engines. This is the new gen Raptor. It has the V6 twin turbo, roughly 550 horsepower. All this tuned and set up by SVC. This one actually is the old gen, gen one Raptor engine, all tuned by Inmar and supercharged. There's the other Raptor over there though, that supercharged and roughly 700 horsepower? I don't know. Yes, remember. sure. Yes. That sounds about right. Yes, so old spec, so that is a 6.2 liter V8 yeah. supercharged, similar to the motor in the Super Boat, 6.2 liter supercharged, 550 horsepower. This new spec SVC Raptor truck is actually 3.5 liter uh, EcoBoost, 550 horsepower. See where we're going with this. Ken, do you have enough Raptor motors in your shop right now? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Oh wow, it's actually semi-clean. Semi-clean. I mean, the last time I drove it was down in Swing Arm City, and we abused the crap out of it. Yeah, it actually, this and is- it works really quite well. It held up really well down in Swing Arm. Yeah. Those of you that have heard the Swing Arm episodes say that it's got a really loud blow-off. It's actually not a blow-off, it's just a diverter valve that's not run back into the intake. So intercooler, tune, and a full stainless catback exhaust um, give this thing about 100 horsepower over stock. So about 550. About 550, and same as the boat. Yep. Same, and... same power, different motor. And it has a unique exhaust because of the way the suspension is set up, and that's by... It's actually by these folks right here. Stainless Works. Stainless Works. And it has a unique the way that, that it runs because of the rear suspension. So normally the exhaust runs all the way back, but this stops short. Yeah, you can see it dumps off just right there, kind of like a trophy truck. Not only does the, does the truck in Avalanche Gray, 2017 Avalanche Gray, match the boat, boat's wrapped, reflective livery, but this actually, a lot of people put boats on Raptors and they squat out a bunch. But thanks to SVC and these hydraulic adjustable bump stops, yeah. it's actually a pretty good tow vehicle. Yeah, it's a nice setup. The way that Marine Products did the wrap and set this whole boat up for me is actually quite amazing. I mean, they, they, have, they look actually perfect together. All right, so let's look at the boat motor. We could talk about the boat exhaust, but you don't normally see that in the water. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a little mean, different slight looking. Slight different, slightly different than the Raptor. And they do this so that this sort of boat nowadays is used so much just for wake surfing, not wake boarding. So they're trying to get the exhaust away from the surfer who is usually not far behind the boat. So that exhaust is designed to dump that exhaust down into a prop wash and then send that exhaust as far back as possible behind the boat so that the surfer never smells it or breathes it. So, works pretty good. <laughs> Liquid Lemons did a really nice job with this light setup. You can see four of them right there. There's some strips here. There's a bunch of lights inside the boat. So when we're out at night, you're able to surf till pretty late. I think later than we're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. There we go, Raptor 6.2 liter by Indubar, supercharged. There's a lot of logos in there. So a lot wow. of connections to make here, Ken. First off, one of your favorite graphics, yep. same as the Mark II, right there, look at that. Yep. Like, yep. We, like we planned it, and then again, this motor is in that old spec Raptor, like the Raptor tracks just ahead of us, so. Yep. Just, just so happens, <laughs> so that comes out, there you go. So that's gonna look a lot more like a motor. Now you can see the supercharger, yep. um, obviously it's a 6.2 liter V8. And in full marine spec too, I mean, everything is just uh, yeah. protected from water and moisture and absolute beautiful setup. Yeah, it's a really nice setup. 
we had Zach from Hoonigan on, on board the other day and he wanted us to put exhaust out the top. <laughs> he says it's not loud enough, which I kind of agree. The, the supercharger does have a nice whine, but I would actually like to hear it more. They did too good of a job packaging the compartment around the engine and the exhaust. I want to hear it a bit more. All right, so cool motor. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> it seems amazing. Look at this color, caramel guts, the engine cockpit. Really absolutely beautiful. Everything, these nice electronic screens that run maps, run cameras, the GoPro stuff uh, links through uh, this whole setup. Yeah, there's actually not a lot of buttons. I mean, you've got what you need on your, on your wheel here. Uh, there's, how's that? Oh. <laughs> that's, 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 that's something you don't see on the back of your that's motor. That's amazing. Right here, and check this out. Even, even like the maps. Well, it mainly shows lakes. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. We can tell where yeah. we're going. Yeah, there's the Jordanelle. There's where we're actually going today. So we're here, Jordanelle is here, world-class snowmobiling here, world-class <laughs> snowboarding here. Yep. What more do you want? <laughs> yeah, very um, nice setup, and you can actually see the lights here from Liquid Lumens. And even a full, like, control panel, control the lights. That's a lot of cup holders, and they're everywhere. These guys, when they were here at the shop the other day, were telling me that this is the first set of lit cup holders that they've ever done, so that your boat was the first to ever get those uh, my cup kids, holders, tower lights. My kid's lights. favorite setting is the music setting. It changes according to the, the beat of the music. So a lot of nice details on this boat, including these racks that hold uh, this very nice carbon fiber Ronix board that they made specially for me. And it has a photo I took. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> photo I took of, of Yuki when we actually did a snowmobile trip with Wolfgang over Powder Mountain. So there's, there's a full carbon fire board with a picture yeah, of Yuki. So yeah. you got a Yuki. I know, you've got, I know you've got a Bentley because I helped yeah. pull him out. And here's Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right, well that's it. Uh, Raptor Motors all around, but let's go to the lake. We're gonna go meet Chris and Sean, two of my friends that are gonna teach us some basics for wake surfing. So a couple trick tips for you and I today. I heard you're doing a 540. Sure, I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be fun to watch me slam, great. All right, next stop, Jordan L. All right, let's go. You gotta go, you gotta go that way. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I nice show. That's too much fun though. I nice show. <laughs> All right, KV, what's going on? All right, well, we got Chris Trimner, local buddy, works with uh, Marine Products. He's actually a very good instructor. He's gonna help us today. He's gonna help you. And lucky for you, we teach a lot of beginners. So we got this today. <laughs> <laughs> Who else do we have? The world Chris. champ. We got Sean. Silvera. So, Sean Silvera. Dude, you got it. You just won a world championship? I Another did. world championship. I didn't win a world championship. I'm ranked number one for two years in a row. Okay. So, but I plan on winning it this year. All right, so Chris and Sean both accomplished on the water. Sean, certainly a lot better than Chris. Sorry, Chris. No, no, <laughs> no, no, Chris Chris kills it, honestly. He... I teach him, he teaches me, we all learn stuff. Wait, so, so you're gonna give us a demonstration of what you're gonna do with Forrest. Yep. And then you're gonna come up with some ridiculous trick that I'm not gonna be able to do, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be most likely a failure, but it'll be fun. <laughs> All right, so before I get into okay. uh, hopefully be very successful here on my first Audi on the water, Ken wants to make sure he gets it on GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a rad GoPro mount that we put in the back. Yep. Yeah, let's see. So there's actually a connection here on the on the dash to be able to connect. And now my camera tells me I just got connected. Record. Yep. Oh, look at that. Sick. It's already on. So there we go. No pressure, camera's on. <laughs> All right, let's put it in the back. And that is actually one of the one of the cool things about this. This is just a sort of a universal camera mount. There's the name of it. But you can plug it into different places on the boat. In this case, there's two on the back um, and then a few more on the sides that on the Supra also hold the bumpers or once you're on the water, they hold your GoPro. Right there for it. 
Wow, look at that low. And we'll get that all adjusted, but you, you get the idea. Chris, what are you telling me I'm gonna do? Gonna you called it a floater? Front side floater. This is what you're gonna do. Put it out there. That's it. That's it. All, all right. right, get back on the boat, man. My turn. <laughs> Should we make some bets if he gets up on his first try? The best boat, decent driver, <laughs> the best board. Here we are, take one. <laughs> And by the second try, I landed my trick. No, uh, <laughs> but now it's time for for this guy to show this guy what we're hopefully gonna get you to do. Right, right. It's gonna be entertaining. We're gonna go a little bit more advanced. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna try the 540 big spin. Sure, I didn't even better <laughs> shove it yet. <laughs> All right, try. show us what we're doing, Sean. KB's going in? Uh, I think this will help. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't think anything's going to help. <laughs> I'm ready for some slams. Kids being so, so optimistic right now. <laughs> I was trying to ollie the other day. I got like this. <laughs> Still counts. I'm with the rope. Have you done a 360 when you've ridden away? You got a couple? Uh, once. Yep. All you do is when you drive up on your toes, yep. I know you don't like using your hand, but this helps when you drag your hand, it helps yep. rotate your shoulders, okay. which is okay. yep. the main part of the trick. So yep. when you go up, you drag your hands. When you get to the top, all you want to do is scoop your back foot back. Yep. You don't okay. want to push it down. Okay. You just want it to release the tail and it's just spin on the water. It doesn't even matter if it gets air or not. Okay. All right. Just kick it as hard as you can and then make sure that you look down at it. Yeah. so that you know where it is, and then when you see it, stomp down on it. It really helps the voice. Alright, there's that slash. I know, we know. He, we know, he's got it. Yeah, we, we get it. You got that. Dude, <laughs> it wasn't a bad try, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that was uh, way beyond my skill level. But that's that's cool. what it's all about though. And when you have a boat full of pros to heckle you, <laughs> I mean, cool, what other sport can you try stuff like this and literally have like just a peanut gallery? It <laughs> was a fun try. I, I didn't want to take this to the face. <laughs> you got folded over it's that It's funny, one. that, yeah, last, that really last slam, I was like, man, like, do you ever get those in the shin? Like, does that, Absolutely. that must hurt. <laughs> uh, There's always a risk. It was fun trying. I Dude, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man. That was sick. All right, that I think so that's sick. it. Forrest, thanks for all your uh, time with me. Thanks, KB. Thanks for your, all your time with the team, spotting, managing the shop, and making these episodes. Appreciate it. Thank we you. We miss you, Forrest. 
For those of you that are wondering, if this guy didn't do this stuff, I don't know where the world of motorsports would be, the world of rally. The opportunities he's provided, the impact he's created, amazing. So I came out to be your spotter, Ken, yep. <laughs> and you ended up taking me around the world and yeah. making me fall on wakeboards and snowmobiles and snowboards, and well, the experience has been amazing. Now dude. we have to send you out to your pasture, your literal yeah. pasture in Maine. Yeah. Find, me, <laughs> find me in Maine. <laughs>